so what will be the product of dehydrohalogenation if reaction follows e2 mechanism so we have to write product now there are many ways by which we can derive the product we can derive the product using this formula that is perspective drawing we can also derive the product by sahars projection formula product can also be derived using newman projection formula now let us discuss here product using newman projection formula if i see along this bond that is carbon carbon bond so this is the line of view so this carbon is front carbon it has a hydrogen on top and left side we have methyl and right side we have phenyl now in the back we have another carbon so back carbon is denoted by circle we have a chlorine just behind hydrogen now methyl is left side and phenyl is right side so this is the newman projection formula for this compound now one important point we have in case of e2 elimination e2 elimination is empty so we will make empty conformation of corresponding alkyl halide so let us rotate back carbon by 180 degree so that chlorine is empty to the hydrogen so our target is make chlorine empty to hydrogen and for this we are rotating back carbon by 180 degree so let us rotate the back carbon by 180 degree front carbon will remain as it is chlorine will be here because it is rotated by 180 degree angle and this phenyl basically this one that is the back carbon this will come here and this methyl that is back carbon it will come here so we have rotated groups attached to the back carbon by 180 degree so in this case 
we have hydrogen and chlorine empty to each other so hydrogen and chlorine are empty to each other now you may remember e2 mechanism what happens you have alkyl halide and you have a hydrogen base abstracts this hydrogen and the same time this leaving group departs and we will have carbon carbon double bond formation so let us write this molecule again we have phenyl this side and this side we have methyl so base will abstract this hydrogen and we will have a carbon carbon double bond this is the front carbon and this is the back carbon so there is a carbon carbon double bond formation and this group will leave basically we can draw the transition state also in the transition state carbon hydrogen bond is slightly broken and base hydrogen bond is formed and this carbon chlorine bond is slightly broken and there is a double bond character between this carbon and the back carbon so we are not showing that one so basically we will have double bond character between front carbon and back carbon so this is the transition state and finally we will lose this hydrogen and chlorine and there is a double bond between front carbon and back carbon so finally we will have this one you see this product is basically trans product so this alkene this is the front carbon this has methyl and ph and this is the back carbon on the back carbon phenyl is opposite to the front carbon phenyl and methyl is opposite to the methyl so in this case we will have trans configuration that is trans isomer will be formed in this reaction for example let us say if i ask so we do dehydrohalogenation using e2 mechanism what will be the product now we have been given 
एंटी कन्फॉर्मर सो देर इज नो नीड टू रोटेट कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड सो इन दिस केस देर इज नो नीड ऑफ रोटेशन ए लॉन्ग कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड दैट इज फ्रंट कार्बन एंड बैक कार्बन so rotation is not needed so we have two methyl left side and ethyl is right side so base will abstract this hydrogen and we will have carbon carbon double bond formation and finally we will have this product so this is front carbon and there is a double bond between front carbon and back carbon so this one is the back carbon front carbon has methyl and ethyl group basically this is the double bond now two methyl group are on the same side so on the front carbon as on the back carbon methyl groups are on the same side so we can put this methyl group here and ethyl groups are also on the same side so in this case we will have cis isomer as the final product so this is about e2 elimination one important point we have e2 elimination follow anti periplanar transition state or we can say e2 elimination is anti elimination